Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make this little handbag. Very cute and very easy to make. And if you open it up, you'll see that it, hold, it can hold all types of goodies in here. And then just close it back up. You can give this for Mother's Day, Easter, just whatever. So, let's start making one. I think this one I'm going to make the background black even though this black paper is not quite as thick as that pink I think it will work because this is the new Julie Nutting Bella V paper and this is the dress form uh, and I think it's got just enough black in it I think it's gonna look good with that so we're gonna do that but you're gonna start off with a piece of paper 12 by 12 you're gonna score at one half well if I can hold it we are anyway you're going to score it at one half. And I can't run my scoreboard straight today. Five inches. And I have to be very careful on this because this is this paper is not thick. I wasn't happy with it. Seven inches. And eleven and a half inches. Alright, that is one half, five inches, seven inches, and eleven and a half. Then you're going to turn it 90 degrees and you're going to score at two and a half and nine and a half. Okay. Oh, I think that's. Well, let's go ahead and score. This is going to be our closure. We'll go ahead and score it while we've got our scoreboard out. Your closure measures five and a half inches by two and a half inches. And you're going to score it at two and five eighths. And yes, I have to count the little marks. And three and one eighth. Okay, so two and five eighths and three and one eighth. All right, we'll lay that aside. Put our scoreboard up. And see if we can get started on this. Okay, on the sides that have the one half inch, you're going to fold them one way to the inside, outside, whatever. Just score them one way, and then you're going to, or fold them one way, I should say, fold them one way, and then you're going to fold the other um, four fold lines. I can't even talk today, I'm sorry other fold lines the opposite way. So you see what I did? I folded these back backwards from these fold lines. And then you're just going to fold your sides, fold these back out, and fold the sides on the score lines. And where's my other one? Okay. Now after you do that, you're going to turn it back over to the, this is what I call my front side, where my little flaps turn down that way. You're going to take this score line right here, the one that's right there, and you're going to bring it up to to meet, Let's see if I can get it started first. It's a little bit tricky at first, but you can do it. You're going to bring that score line, and I don't know why mine's not wanting to fold in the right place. You're going to bring that score line up just to meet that side line right there. So in other words, it's going to look just like that. See, there's my score line here. And then I just folded it and brought it to be in line with this line. Just line it up with that one and then crease it. Then you're going to do the same on the other side. And some of them will fold easier than others. You just have to kind of manipulate. Just make sure that you get it folded right on that line. Okay. So there you have that. And see, it just looks like a little, it's starting to a little boat. 
Okay, I'm going to go again. Do the other end the same way. Sometimes I have to get it started with my finger or it wants to try to fold in the other direction. The thicker the cardstock, the better and easier this folds, believe it or not. This thinner does not want to fold as well as my thick paint did. But it will work. We'll see to it that it works. Okay. So there you've got that. Looks like a little ship almost. Okay. Now, you just decide which which side you want to be your outside. I'm thinking I want this to be my outside. So after you get your sides folded and your creases, this is what it will look like. Then you're just flattening it back out and we're going to put some mats on. Now this is going to be the top of your bag. So make sure your patterns are running the right way. And I think I'm just going to use a little liquid glue on this. Hmm. I still think I'm going to use the other side. I love those little dress forms. I might make another one using that other. So just make sure that you center it between the score lines and then butt it all the way up to the top against this line up here. So all the way up there because that's going to fold down over it to make it look more finished and to give it a little bit more sturdiness. Here again, make sure that you are centering it between your score lines on each side, this one and this one, and then butting it up against that line up there, and then pressing it in. Okay, so we got those on, and now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this lip down over there, and we're going to glue that down to finish that off and here I'm going to use score tape and please excuse my messy hands we have been packing orders all day and oh when I handle boxes and things my hands get all cut up and torn up and really really nasty and even though I have washed them they're still nasty okay now you just fold that down all the way across see how it makes just a really good seam you don't have to worry about that raw edge on your paper because you don't have a raw edge this way and no this is again is not my original idea I saw it uh, a few years ago on YouTube and I had written the instructions down and just had not made one so I thought I would okay so we got that so now you can see our little bags coming together and it'll take a few um, tries to get your sides to go you know exactly like they like you need them to sometimes you may have to maneuver them just a little bit but just the object is to make sure that this little line and that line are kind of together, kind of meet. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make our handles and go ahead and put those on. And I just cut a piece of ribbon about, oh, maybe six inches or something, six or seven. Just depends on how long you want to your handles to be. I think I cut my other ones about seven. And just make sure that they're the same length. Okay, 
Well, I went looking for breads, and I didn't, I couldn't, I don't have a lot of breads, and I didn't have any black ones that I could find. All I could find was these little heart ones, and they're in white, which is not great, but we're going to make it work anyway. They're going to be on the inside, so they're not going to be seen until somebody opens up the, the bag. So what you're going to do now is turn it on the side where your paper is. And then I'm just going to put my little hole punch down there and punch a hole. And it looks, you know, about half an inch from the end is where you need to pierce your hole if you're using a paper piercer. And just, you know, get it even on both ends if you can. Makes your handle hang a little bit better if they're even. Alright, and then you're going to put your brads in from this side. So the head of your brad will be, let me see if I can get this one in that hole. The head of your brad will be showing on the same side as your paper, as your outside. And don't worry, it, it will all come together, I promise. You're saying, oh, why don't you put them the other way? Just hold on and you will see. It will all come together. And then this ribbon is very very thin so I'm just going to pierce it with that brad and then put it put them down because it's it's so thin I don't have to punch a hole in it but if you've got some ribbon that's pretty thick then you probably just need to go ahead and put your push your hole in it with your um, piercer All right now make sure that your ribbon is turned the right way. Make sure that it's not turned two or three different ways or twisted, whatever. And put it on the other side, on the opposite side. So in other words, that's what you're going to have right there. And I know this still doesn't look like a purse, does it? Just hang in there with me. We'll get there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. ribbon is straight. I think that's straight. If it's not, we can take it back off. Okay. So you've got both ends. Let me make sure that this ribbon is correct. And I don't think it is before we go any further. Nope, I think I've got it backwards. Let's redo that. If you're having problems getting your ribbon to not be twisted and making sure that it's absolutely on there right, just lay your, fold the sides in and lay something heavy on there and then just put your ribbon down that way. And then you should be able to see that it's going to be straight. Let's see. There you go. You can see that. Okay. All right. After you get your brads in, Then what we're going to do is we're going to take some score tape and you're going to make sure that your ribbon is straight up and down right here on the sides and you're going to run some score tape over that where that brad is and that will hold your ribbon in, keep the brad from piercing through the paper, it just kind of reinforces everything. Just make sure that your ribbon is straight up and down when you do that.
And then just take your off your score tape and glue these sides down just even with that other corner right there. Go ahead and use your bone folder, fold your edge there. Take this side off, fold it in, right, make sure it's even. Take your bone folder and fold that one. Do the same on all four corners. you have your little bag put together all except our closure. And see those little white, they don't look so bad. They're on the inside but and they are seen. I said they weren't seen. They are seen but they don't look so bad. So that's, that's that part. And now you take your closure part and I am going to use my punch on here to just kind of decorate up the end and what I do is I start in the middle it's not going to work out to be exactly the correct um, not going to work out to be exactly correct on both ends it's going to have a little tip on there but if you start in the middle before you punch and then just kind of follow your lines down then you should get a pretty good punch Okay, alright, so we got that, and now to put, just decide which one you want to be your front. Um, both of mine look pretty well the same, so I don't think it matters. Line your bag up with something so that you can see your center. Go ahead and put your score tape on. Put your score tape on the, if you if you punched yours like I did, put your score tape on the opposite side, the opposite end, or your adhesive, whatever you're using. As you can see, I put my score tape, here's my fold line, there's my score tape. Let's go ahead and take your... And now I fold this back and I find my center between those two little handles and then I lay it down as I put that score line just as even as I possibly can when I lay it down and then press it down. So there is the back part. So now all we need to do is put a closure on, on this side. As you can see, and on the other one I just used a magnet underneath. It's hard, you could try to put a magnet under here if you wanted. It's just hard to measure where to put that magnet when you have you know, when you don't know exactly how this closure is going to go, how far this closure is going to go down. But, um, you know, you could, you could probably figure it out. I just didn't take the time to figure it out. So, you know, that's strictly up to you. If you want to um, put your magnet where it'll be hidden, that's fine. But I, I don't mind because most purses that you get that have a closure like that on them, a magnetized closure, you can see the little magnet. So, alright, so I'm just going to put my magnet on the center part of that. And then I'm going to put the other side, I'm not going to take the tape off the other side, I'm going to put the other side right up against it. Take my backing off, pull my purse closed like I want it. And then make sure that score line is sitting right on that edge right there. Make sure that my corners are together and it's not kind of lopsided. And 
and then just press it down. So there you go. Isn't that cute? These are just some wild orchid craft flowers that I've had laying around ever since our probably our first order that we got a long time ago. I'm gonna put oh this glue gun is terrible. Sorry. And my other one burn up and I'm waiting on my new one to get here. Okay. So there's the little flowers on there. And then I think I'm gonna take some see if I have some stickles. I think I'll just take some of this. This is the new Nuvo Glitter Drops. It's not exactly the same color, but I think if I put it on my finger, maybe. And I just touch the flowers with it. I think we'll be safe. Make them look like they're a little bit different color shaded. That kind of thing. These glitter drops are wonderful. There you go. See that worked. Aren't those cute? I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. But that is it. That's the little handbag. I think they're adorable. They'll be great for gifts. And I plan on giving a few of these out this year. So that is it for today. Other than, just a moment, our YouTube teaser. I have been running late on that this week. I'm running late on everything this week. But uh, let me see if I can get to my YouTube teasers. And I will show you what we have. Let me get that glue up. our YouTube teasers we have some wild orchid craft flowers we have a few packs of those so we will have some wild orchid craft flowers on there and we will have some um, these are the Kaiser craft wooden shapes we have the butterflies and the flowers and we have quite a few of those these will all be oh and there's some hearts we will all these will all be on our YouTube teaser and I will try to have these up just as soon as this video loads if not um, check back just as, just in a little while just give me a few minutes I'm trying to get all of this done and everything posted but if they're not up by the time that the video loads just keep checking back and our word your password will be purse p-u-r-s-e I think is how you spell purse I'm not a speller I'm a mathematician so anyway but your um, password will be purse so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and I will try to put all these measurements on my blog. The link to that is below as well. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.